breathe and receive before I start speaking. I wanted to allow you to let go of anything that does not serve and I will invoke a blessing before I start speaking. May all the earth be blessed. May all the earth have peace. May the earth be in tranquility. Let all your troubles fall by the wayside. And just breathe. Let go of false narratives. Be all that you can be. Know that everything is working out in you in all ways, in all ways, all the time, every second, every nanosecond. Merlin has stepped forward. Hello, Merlin. The vision. Hold the vision to the point where you can't hold it anymore. To the point where it doesn't become something you think about. It becomes who you are. It becomes something that moves you, that elevates you, that lets you levitate, that brings you to tears. Tears of joy, not tears of sadness. So in this moment, tap into your frequency, tap into your nature, tap into your power, tap into who you are right here, right now, ever present, all the time. But just tell yourself that you're blessed. Tell yourself your ecstasy. Know the I am, the I am bliss. And download Archangel Metatron's cube into your crown chakra and let's just do a chakra clearing real quick and let's flush out anything out of our systems that is not wanted that is not needed and let's become more purified let's become who we are let's become our destiny not a destination let's become a victor not a victim and today we are going to discuss not being the obstacle, not putting obstacles in our way and understanding that if we just go with the vibration, the flow of life and the allowance of life that we can live truly and effortlessly in bliss. When I snap my fingers, you will be in alignment. You will snap back into who you are. You will have a self-realization, a self-actualization, a self-empowerment, a self-realization of your true nature here and now. You will breathe in the frequencies and the essential oils of source. You are becoming the effortless perfection of the higher self, which is God in human form, which is the oracle of love, light, and wisdom. Take one last deep breath. Welcome to the third installment of Cigars in Spirituality. Welcome, welcome. Without further ado, this is White Wolf. I'm going to share out to all the groups, and we're going to be talking about not putting obstacles in our way of becoming the illusion of manifesting. Stop being the obstacle that is standing in the way of your newfound consciousness, of your true nature, of who you really are, of God in human form, of source, of the I am this bliss. So we're going to be talking about not identifying ourselves 
with false narratives, not identifying ourselves with our emotions, not identifying ourselves with the human condition. That's what we're here to talk about. We're not identifying ourselves with the human condition anymore. We're trying to transcend from being a human. But what we do sometimes, we allow other people to dictate our lives. We allow the outside world, instead of working on our inner world, working on the infinite reality, which is us as the soul, because we've been here multiple of times. But sometimes we have to have something happen to ignite our inner passion. Sometimes we need something to come onto the scene to allow us to snap us into alignment. We need something so crazy to happen in our lives to snap us back into alignment, to show us who we really are. Sometimes we need other people to come into our lives to show us who we really are. So a lot of times, spirit will make people come into your life to help you get to this knowledge, to help you get to the spiritual awakening, to guide you, to mentor you. Sometimes it takes being the apprentice to become the master within. But this is talking about self-control. This is about suppressing the emotions, but not necessarily suppressing, but limiting how many emotions we have. What it really means is that we're aligning ourselves with more positive things, which is source, and we are disassociating from the negativity and the sensations along the way as well. So if you're coming into the feed, this is White Wolf, this is the third installment of cigars and spirituality. Welcome. And if you rewatch this, there was a, a blessing I invoked. So if you're missing out, please share out to all the groups. Feel free to donate. Make an appointment with me. I have a special running for $20 for 20 minutes, $40 for 40 minutes, $60 for 60 minutes, and anything longer than that, we'll have to discuss that. So sometimes we spiritually bypass and we can be the obstacle in our way of our manifestation, of our journey, of our life of our growth, sometimes we stay stagnant because we're not willing to face ourselves. We're not willing to see ourselves. And sometimes even our clients reflect ourselves. That's why we have, that's why we become the human mirror. And I've said that previous lives, but it's a very good analogy. And I like using it a lot, so I'll use it a lot more. But sometimes we need something to ignite our passion. But what they're priming us to do is to not give in to the false narrative, is to not give in to the human condition, it's not to give in to the anxiety, into the emotions, into what we thought we were living in this illusion. Because post-awakening is an hallucination of you breathing into the illusion. And then once you see through that illusion, you're actually seeing the truth because you closed your eyes so that you can finally see with your newfound eyes. You get a new father, you get a new mother, you get new guys, you get new friends, you get new everything. So everything is being updated, revamped, rebooted, if you will. So in this moment we're getting updated, we're getting downloads, we're getting changed. And sometimes when we're not open to change, that is the very big obstacle that is in our way to get what we want. So don't be the obstacle in the way of what you want. Sometimes relationships that we have sometimes run their course and then we have to escape that dynamic, get out of that old energy because they want you to keep going within the new energy. So you always have to be subject to change and you always have to be comfortable where, where you go and where you are at. You have to purify where you're coming from so you get to where you are going. And I say this a lot, but it's true. You have to be happy wherever you are at, wherever you go. It's a journey within multiple journeys. And sometimes I feel like we just don't embrace the present. We're always trying to change the past, but you would have to go back and try to change your past. You don't want to do that. And sometimes it feels like you're waiting too long for the future to come. Well, how about you just create within the space that you have right here in the present and be done and have an all as well attitude and just really have a lot of faith within your journey because that's what it requires for you to have faith within your journey. It requires faith because if you don't have faith, then you are very limited. You're always going to be stagnant. You're always not going to embrace the new and you're always going to be in the revolving door. The revolving door is the obstacle that we put in our way 
for manifestation. So don't put obstacles in your way. Don't feel like you're running through an obstacle course, but feel like it's a nice Sunday drive and you're basking in the glory of your higher self and God's source energy. And how we accumulate a lot of grace in this life is that we just let Jesus take the wheel. We let go. We drop it, leave it, let it go. And letting go does not mean letting go of the hurt, of the pain, of the unforgiveness, the condemnation. It's not any of these things. It's actually just letting go and just giving everything back up to source. It's just letting go completely. It's letting go of your worries, letting go of everything that made you a human. It's letting go of strife, letting go of thinking that there's challenges instead of embracing the journey. Sometimes we act like that God is being mean to us, that oh, why are these things haven't happened yet? Why are these things happening? Why are these circumstances happening to me? Why am I being reflected this? Why am I being reflected that? Everything is a reflection for us. So if everything is a reflection for us to try to get us into alignment, to try to snap us back in to our true nature, to our true wonder, to who we are supposed to be, we always have to be open to the change because change happens all the time. We change every nanosecond. So nothing is ever going to just be the same and you're not living Groundhog Day anymore, which is the illusion. We are trying to escape the Groundhog Day that we live on a moment to moment, day to day basis. So we stop having the same friends, so we stop doing the same things, so we keep doing the same cause and effects and we're expecting a different result. So change those cause and effects so that you do have a different result. Make different actions. Have different self-realizations. Have times of introspection and times of contemplation while you are meditating so that you can figure out your creativity. We're all trying to figure out what our pearl is in this life. We're all trying to figure out what our creation is in this life. We're all trying to be the absolute best that we can be in this life. So this is a living testament of how you limit the obstacles that you put in your way on this journey. It's realizing that just because something negative happens that you can transcend that. You can realize that it's not a negative circumstance, that it's not something negative that's happening to you. It's not God being mad at you, but what it really is is something, a challenge, a catalyst to you to jump over the hurdle. It's for you to jump over a hurdle. It's something that you have to transcend. It's something that you have to purify. So what, what, what can you do to make this a positive? How can you balance the positive and the negative? That's really what this whole life is about. It's about balance. It's about being a balanced entity. It's about being in balance with your energy even. It's about being a balanced entity in this life. You gotta have a balance. You can't feel as if you can have a lot of money and then feel like you can't blow some money while you have a lot of money. That's not how the universe works. We always act like we gotta save every single penny that we have, but if you are an abundant being, if you are made of abundance, how can you not give abundance out and expect to receive that abundance again? That's the mentality that you should have. It's a give or take. It's give and receive, and in giving we receive. So that's another way that you can stop the obstacles. But sometimes we do these things, we second guess ourselves. We kind of nilly-nally around, around the healing, around the, the prosperity, around the manifestation. Instead, we just need to have an all is well attitude and have a lot of conviction and just say that everything that I am right now is what I am and I say and I confirm everything that I am. I am placing my dream board within my consciousness so I know that the dream board is coming when I want it to come. I know it for sure. I have this knowingness. I have this beingness. I have the courage and the authenticity and the confidence that I know that God is making his way for me, that God is directing my steps. 
So you've got to realize that Source is directing the Oracle of Love, Light, and Wisdom steps at all times. So, but we can take it a step further and realize that we are trying to direct our steps at all times, in all ways, in all ways. So, so let's not beat around the bush anymore. Let's really, let's really tap in and see that how many times in our day can we limit the obstacles that we put in our way to have fun, to manifest, to give prosperity, to have opportunities. But sometimes when we don't pull the trigger on those opportunities, then they pass us by and we wonder why our life hasn't changed in 20 years. Well, there was an opp opportunity that you fell into your lap, but you didn't go to that store because you didn't realize that spirit was directing you to go to that store to meet that person. Maybe you were meant to meet a friend of yours and you were he was meant to help you with your spiritual work or whoever you are. Maybe he's a game designer and you were supposed to make that interaction so that he could help you with your game designing capabilities. But sometimes we feel like that life passes us by, but really we're just too scared to take that risk in the first place. A risk is only scared to take before you take it. But once you take that risk, once you step out in faith, once you realize that it's not a scary thing to step out into faith and to become who you are, then it's very freeing when you make a radical change, when you do a spontaneous change. I like to use spontaneous change either because it's very exciting, it's very exhilarating, it's very amazing and prophetic. It's very prophetic because it allows you to take a chance on yourself, to roll the dice, to see where it lands, to just go with it. Sometimes we just don't go with it. Sometimes we don't roll with the punches. Sometimes we literally play it safe, but you can't play it safe to have a prosperous mentality, to have a prosperous consciousness. To be consciousness itself, you have to be courageous. You have to be a risk taker. You cannot play it safe because I know for from past experiences that I used to play it kind of safe. I was afraid to do this and that. And then once it was shown to me that I don't have to live my life like that, though I don't have to be stagnant, I don't have to be limited, I don't have to suffer, I don't have to, I can transcend the human condition. I can do that if I want to do that. And if I uh, choose to do that. But it's a very liberating choice when you just really just don't give a fuck anymore. When you have the vibration of just not caring. And it's not that you don't care for human beings, but you just don't care and you don't worry and you're not giving power to too many things. That's what really limits the obstacles in your life when you stop giving your power or credence to things that don't represent who you are. It's a very liberating feeling when you don't give credence to the darkness, when you don't give credence to the human condition, when you stop giving your power away and your voice, and you start becoming a voice for the voiceless, and you start to instill this intelligence into other people. And you realize that you are becoming source and you're becoming the higher self, and you're not giving your power away to meaningless things of the human condition. You're transcending the human condition. You're realizing that it has nothing to do with you, but it has everything to do with the imposter self, because it's not the true self. The true self is wanting to be you. Infinity is wanting to be you. The imposter self is going to keep you stuck, is going to keep you small, it's going to keep you from your newfound consciousness. And it's going to make you feel small and you're going to do what mommy and daddy and your friends and your sister or whatever want you to do. And everybody's going to look at you like you're a madman, a crazy person, but really what you have to do and you have to make the decision, do I want to be truly abundantly happy all the time? 
do I want to live my best life today? And then once you make that decision and you let go of really caring about what people think because that in itself is an obstacle and you're deconstructing all of these obstacles that have something to do with the human condition. Because these obstacles has nothing to do with you. They're just illusions to see through. And once you see through these illusions of the human mind, of the human condition, of the psychology that we give our power away to, when we realize that it's actually something really spiritual, it's a very liberating thing. It's a very liberating thing because it's like, oh, I can do this. I can go left when everybody wants me to go right. I, I, can, I can be myself. You can finally be yourself. You can be an, uh, the Avenger that you were waiting to be since you were a kid. And it's like, wow, that's a very liberating feeling. When you get your thoughts into alignment, when you realize that more positive thoughts and less positive thoughts is the imposter self and more positive thoughts are source, it's a very liberating thing. It allows you to transcend a lot of illusions. So that's what we're doing. We're trying to see through a lot of these mindless, limiting illusions. But sometimes we create our own suffering. Sometimes we create our own obstacles and our own illusions. And then we got to see through our own shit, really. So, what I want you guys to understand is that once you have the wherewithal to know that you're free to do whatever you like, free to dress however you like, free to be who you want to be, and not who you should be, but be the light. When you really stand in the light, you shine and you're radiating. So if you're radiating, you're going to trigger a lot of people. And it's not a trigger. It's not like you're trying to go out of your way to sort of make people mad. That's not the case here. But because they are mad because of what you are doing, you're actually triggering and stirring something up within them. So it's obviously a reflection for them if they don't accept your newfound consciousness, if, you, if they don't accept who you are and they don't really respect your free will. And you don't have to be subjected to someone else's lower vibration or their lower density of consciousness. You don't have to be subjected to that. You can break free from those chains. You can be who you want to be and you can live freely as Source wants you to be because they didn't want us, they didn't want us to be stagnant beings. They didn't want us to limit ourselves. They didn't want us to feel like we are subjected to something, to a paradigm, to, you know, a certain relationship paradigm. No one says that you have to have friends. No one says that you have to work a nine to five and then go see the world because that is an illusion itself. You can do your dream job. You can do whatever you want to do. It's just having faith because you may not see it for what it is right now. But if I were to tell you that I've been doing this three years ago, I would have told you that you were out of your mind. But it's all a matter of just having that faith and that willpower and that, that grace that comes with it. So, so you are the one that's going to, uh, in a sense, break the generational curse to be a barrier breaker. You're going to have a lot of trials and tribulations, but none of those trials and tribulations are going to affect you, dear beloved, because they weren't meant to affect you, but they were meant to make you more bold to make you stronger, to make you have more willpower, to instill something within you because it's a catalyst that catapulted you into your newfound consciousness. And not 
and our loved ones are not meant to grow with us. But you're in search for your soul family so that they can help you with these obstacles and limit these obstacles so that it's not stepping over. It's not tripping and falling. It's not, it's not taking two steps back. It's taking two steps forward. So they don't want you to take two steps back. They want you to take two steps forward. They want you to go forward. They want you to be all you, that you can be. And you realize that if you are doing everything in the eyes of God, that is all that you really need to understand. If you're doing everything that source is telling you, it may look like it's wrong in someone else's eyes, but that's only from the state of consciousness that they are at. But you know where your consciousness is at and you know the light that you're casting off and you know that you're doing everything in the eyes of God. So what is there to question? What is there to to even, It's it shouldn't be even something you think about, you should just know. But we don't know. We don't know everything, but we know what we know right now at this very moment. But you know your inner knowing. So, what you have to understand is that as you grow and mature on this journey, you are limiting and deconstructing all of the obstacle and all of the illusion. Because this illusion has nothing to do with who you are. Because it's just a part of who your lower self is. And sometimes people can't see you when you're the higher self. But it's very freeing when you realize that you're a free being, you have your own higher self, you can do what you want to do whenever you want to do it. You have a, you, when you realize that you have the universal ATM, you don't have to worry about money, and that source will put people in your life at all times, and some will stay and some will go. So let them come and go and have attachment to non-attachment all the time. When you have attachment to non-attachment all the time, you realize that you don't get too attached to things, that you just are a free-flowing being and you're just here in the moment, here, right here, right now. The present moment is a blessing. The present moment is an absolute blessing because it allows you to be present, it allows you to be here, it allows you to accept what is here and to not think about two different things, but just to think about what's right here, what's right now, here, in the now. The now is beautiful. The now is great. The now allows you to create in the space that you have right now so you can create more. And it's a very liberating feeling. So I feel like that sometimes we can be our own worst enemy. And I know in my experience that I can be my own worst enemy, but this goes for everybody. This just doesn't go for me, but this goes for everyone else because we are our own worst enemy. Sometimes we, we are the obstacle, but we got to realize that it's a never ending process to heal, to integrate, to absorb a lot of this knowledge, to absorb these new frequencies. But we don't absorb from other beings. We don't absorb from other humans, but we observe and we learn. But we have to think of ourselves as the sponge that's soaking up these frequencies, these downloads, this intelligence, healing, 
how to become the transcendence. We're just like a little kid. We're a lot like a little kid because at that time and at that age, we are about like six or seven years old. And that's generally the time where a kid really soaks up some energy and soaks up the uh, intelligence and sort of gets a lot of knowledge really fast. That's how a lot of prodigies are born. That's how a lot of prodigies are sort of born and sort of molded. So we have to be comfortable where we're at. We have to be comfortable with who we are because we are the rebirth. We are the resurrection. So if we're being born again, if we're being a totally having a different experience, having the experience of experiencing other things and having a new beingness, it's like a 360 spin on what your life used to be. So we're integrating, like observing and learning and integrating all the time and healing all the time. I don't, I'm not necessarily saying that people, we should absorb people's energy because that's wrong. But we don't absorb energy, we observe and learn from other entities. We learn, we integrate, we heal, we restore something back into ourselves in this journey. And there's a reason why I even smoke these cigars, because it allows my cho th my throat, not my chote, uh, throat chakra to be more expanded. It allows me to have my voice. It allows me to say what I need to say. and allows me to stand in my authority. But everybody is different. Everybody has their own journey. Everybody has their own way. And we all must do what is necessary to be who we are. Well, I feel like I've discussed what I needed to discuss, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this talk. Go to our YouTube channel, Morningstar I Am Movement. Go to our Instagram page, I underscore M underscore Movement, all lowercase. And please go to Divine Ray Morningstar NY Wolf. And please go to TikTok Morningstar 967. And also please check us out on Wednesday. Me and John Atlas will be doing healings and readings. And I will let you guys know ahead of time if anything changes. But we never know what is going to happen within this matrix. So what I want you guys to understand that if something does change, if something does come up, I will let you know. So without without further ado, this is White Wolf. Like the I Am Movement, like it, love it, get some more of it, and make an appointment with me or Morningstar. My PayPal is on the link in the description as well. So if you feel free to donate, feel free to share out. I hope that you guys watched. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And this is White Wolf signing off. And so it is. Thank you.